Here we are out in the vineyard again. Um, I'm in the Gilway vineyard. Now, further to the last uh, vineyard little clip, this here is the rod, which is all tied down onto the wire, and you follow this down onto the trunk. Now, this is last year's growth, all right? You follow this down onto the trunk, and this one here is the spur with the two buds, one, two, all right? And that is also last year's growth, and you come back onto the vine, and that's off the previous year, and so on, back forth. Now, this vine here is actually a 100-year-old Gilo vine. Well, we're, Chambers is one of the few wineries in the world which still is growing this in commercial quantity. Now, you can get some really gnarly-looking part to the vine down here. Um, and so this is the, the butt, and this is the oldest part of the vine. And this is actually a non-irrigated vineyard and to actually help retain some of the moisture. We've gone and laid some straw around the actual the trunk of the vine and it's in the it's under row, under vine here. Uh, and so this is actually meant to maintain moisture. If you actually have a bit of a dig around you can see that there's a bit of moisture underneath. Uh, and with the way it's been the last few years, doing this has been great for the vines. Uh, so that's uh, that's the basic look of the vine, as you can see it was all tied down. Now this is what's called the cellar vineyard and that's purely because of the proximity to the winery which is in the background there. So that's a, just a quick rundown on the Gilo uh, and tying down so you actually understand that the, the rod has come from last year's growth and same with the spur and it's tied down and wrapped on the wire like sus and then you've got the vine.